I was tagged by Cam over at Carolina Fragrance Reviews and Mike D reviews to do 25 fragrances I will never stop recommending. I'll be doing this in uh, three part segments so it's easily digested. Now let's get into the list. If you're new to this channel, this is where I decant out to your fragrance reviews, lists, and everything else that's fragrance related. Let's get into it. So first up on my list is the fragrance I launched my channel on. It's Duo Fragrances Euphoric, which is a clone of my favorite by killing Intoxicated. It's a spicy aromatic coffee, cardamom, and nutmeg forward fragrance. This one is incredibly close to the interpretation of Intoxicated. I just find this one to be just a little bit more sweeter, but with better performance. The reason why I recommend this is due to the price point of killings are pretty expensive. And this lets you get a taste of the fragrance at a fraction of the cost. Number two on my list is Homage Reflection Man. It's a fresh, clean, suit and tie fragrance I highly recommend. When you're going to a wedding, you don't know what to grab, but you want to smell high class, I recommend this. It has a beautiful white floral with creamy sandalwood with a touch of spice from the pepper, bringing everything to a well-rounded fragrance. Third up on my list is Dear Home Cologne. It's such an uplifting fragrance. It's bright, simple, and straightforward citrus with a little bit of musk. I recommend this as a summertime staple in anyone's collection. Sometimes the fragrance doesn't need to be overly complex, and this one shows you that. So fourth up on my list is Boss Bottle Tonic. This has the original Boss Bottle DNA, but it's a lot less toned down. I find it to be refreshing and sophisticated. The main reason why I recommend this fragrance is due to it's not going to be offensive. It's one of those fragrances where you're not sure what type of environment you're going to be in. I just find this to be very handy if you still want to smell good or not offend people. Fifth up on my list is Carl Lagerfeld Bois de Vetiver. This is a decent performing, inexpensive fragrance. I recommend it for people who want to get into vetivers, but don't want some earthy and in your face. The vetiver is very light. I, I really love the opening and it has blood orange and pink grapefruit and the dry down there is really nice. It has a nice mix of ambroxan and musk. Number six on my list, Burberry, Mr. Burberry EDP from a world-renowned perfumer, Francis Kirk John. No, you're not gonna get any sort of uniqueness. It's not gonna be a beast mode performer, but what you do get is modern class and sophistication. Cardamom and tarragon lead weight to added spiciness, resting on a bed of resinous woods, granted from the mixture of cedar, sandalwood, amber, and benzoin. To me, this is a very versatile fragrance, all seasons and all occasions. Number seven on my list is the Overlooked Aiton Bob Egypt. It's an aromatic lavender with moss opening with a warm heart of spices with just the right amount of sweetness to not make it too spicy or too sharp. To me, this is such a warm and cozy fragrance with a luxurious touch. Number eight on my list is Banana Republic Tobacco and Tonka Bean. This is an absolute gem of a cheapie. You get exactly what it says on the bottle, tobacco and tonka bean. It opens up with a delightful plum and pear that leads way to a warm and charming tobacco and tonka. This is a perfect fall and winter fragrance and just a steal at the price point. I think you could grab these at discounted for under $30. Thank you all for joining the Fragrance Shark here today. 
I'm not really going to tag any channel, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it open for anyone who wants to do this tag challenge. Just do it. And I will see you at part two.